This is Michael Douglas with Douglas Lawn Care. I recently had a subscriber ask what software I use for my lawn care business, so I just wanted to make a quick video and go over what I use. The program that I use is Yardbooks, and we just click on Yardbooks here. I have it pre-saved to my computer. Now, Yardbooks does have a app for Android, but they do not have a app for Apple. I don't know why. Um, I think it's in beta testing right now. Personally, the browser on the internet works perfect for me um, when I'm out doing lawn care. So let's just do a quick overview of Yardbooks here. This is the main screen. Obviously, I am logged in as a guest user because I don't want to show everybody my customer list. If you have any questions on Yardbook and you are having trouble trying to figure something out, there is a Facebook group out there. I believe it's Yardbook users or something like that. Um, it is very good for uh, questions about yard books if you have a question we are on our customer list um, and as you can see we are signed in as a guest user so let's say amber this lady here we're gonna click on her account and it's going to show you everything that you have in her account her name her billing address her email her phone number um, a net 30 you can obviously change your net 30 to whatever you would like to I just run on my business as net 30 so we're gonna keep that the same and it also has a spot down here for tags if you're gonna be plowing her this winter you could write plowing and now you're plowing you and now you know that you're plowing her for the winter so if you go back to the customer list under here you can see that she has plowing under her tag name. You just search for plowing and every account that you're plowing for pops up. It's pretty simple. Uh, so let's go back into her account real quick. And we can see that her address, her properties are here. You can add multiple properties. I personally have a couple um, realtors that I'm dealing with and I usually do about five to 10 properties for them individually so you can add multiple properties um, so this one property here you can write down what the lawn size is and mulch quantity if you ever need to uh, if you're doing mulch you can write how much mulch you need so the next year you know how much mulch you use um, and price per cut let's say you're doing a $45 cut um, enter that in price per cut so that saves there and it shows you all your billing summaries your invoices um, payments if she's paid your estimates to her so let's scroll up here and look at let's scroll up here and make a new invoice for her so she it looks like it already pre-generated an invoice of a thousand dollars it looks like obviously she has not paid that so this account is open right now we'll click in her account here and scroll down it looks like a landscaping job was done quantity one for a thousand dollars and we're going to send this to this lady so you're going to go to actions and send to customer and we're going to send emails emails is so much easier than mailing um, a lot less work for you to do personally so i would highly suggest um, trying to get all your customers email addresses so you can bill um, through email it's, it automatically generates your invoice number and your business name and it automatically generates this little message here I have kept it the same for my business but you can go in and change it um, it says hello Amber here's your invoice for the previous month please contact me at this number if you have any question thanks um, Douglas Lawn Care that's my business so if you want to click on the invoice to look at what it's going to look like when it shows up to her obviously this portion is not set up uh, we're just going to use a white background save that for her account and you can go in here and change the settings so on mine it looks a little bit different it has my name obviously on here but right here i have my logo and it says douglas lawn care so you are able to put a logo here to make a little bit more professional and customize it for your business and this is what the invoice is going to look like to your customer it has your item line here quantity one price a thousand dollars um we're not charging tax and it just says in notes you can always change this to auto generate this but it says thank you for your business sometimes i will change it if i need to write them a note or let them know about something that happened um it's just a quick and easy way thing to do but i usually leave it saying thank you for your business and it just a quick summary down here of what has happened and what you're billing for so we're going to go back and get out of this here um, and now we're at her account so we just go to send and it sends it off to her uh, email address and now it will say 
pending. So you can go in and see all your invoices. Um, if you click invoices right here, you can go in and see all the invoices that you have sent out. It shows you your pending invoices, it shows you your open invoices, and it will show you all your invoices that are paid. Um, what is nice about Yardbooks is it has this little um, mailbox thing here for email and it says it was sent. And what is great about this is whenever Amber opens this email, this envelope here will turn green. So you know that she has opened this email. Um, sometimes customers will say, I never got the email, can you please resend it? Uh, you know that is a lie and they're not telling you the truth. And this, <laughs> this thing is amazing and I love it. You can literally tell when they've opened the email. Um, and this is a great feature about Yardbooks here. So you know that um, they've received the email or not and if they're just trying to ghost you. Um, and so this one is paid. There's a little money sign here. A received invoice of $1,000. Right now Yardbooks is linked up to my bank account. So uh, that money automatically is going directly into my bank. They use a credit card company called Stripe. Um, I believe it is like a 3% fee. Uh, which is not a big deal to me, to be 100% honest with you. Yes, you're paying um, a little bit extra. You're getting money taken out of your account, but when they complete, when they pay online, uh, it automatically switches over to paid, so you do not have to go in. Let's say Amber has paid $1,000 with a check, so it's not going to change. You have to go in and change, go to actions, and set to paid. So now you know Amber has paid and she's paid with a check. Or you could have clicked payment and payment amount with a check and save. Oh, and it's not working. There it goes. So now you know Amber has paid um, and it tells you she's paid with a check when you click on her invoice here. Um, I personally don't mind paying the little bit extra for using Stripe. There is a feature when they pay online um, that offers them a tip. So there's, I believe, a 5, 10, 15, and 20% tip that they can click. If they do not want to give you a tip, they literally have to click the no button on the invoice to give you no tip. So I have this, the tip feature totally is worth um, billing online because you receive a lot of tips and you get quite a bit of money from tips. When customers give you tips, that outweighs the 3% or whatever that Stripe is charging you. Uh, to use their credit card service. And Yardbook is 100% free. And the reason Yardbook is free is I think that uh, Stripe is giving Yardbook uh, some money to use their credit card uh, company uh, through Yardbook. So that's how Yardbook is making money is through Stripe. They also do have a pay per um, program for Yardbook. I do not personally use that. I find that the free version um, is everything. Me personally as a solo operator, um, it does everything that I need it to do. So let's go into our customers real quick. Let's say, Amber, we have a job for you today we need to get done. So we're going down here to jobs, we'll click that. And let's say we're going to mow Amber today, mowing. So we're going to set that, you can set that to reoccurring. So if you wanna set that to reoccurring, you can set it to weekly, uh, weekly on Tuesdays, whichever day weekly you want to set, so every day um, if you set it to uh, weekly on Mondays, it's going to generate a new job for her every single Monday. Um, you can put a start time, which is optional. I usually don't do start times. Um, so let's go and save this. You can all, if you click the check mark uh, for billable, um, when you complete the job out, it will automatically bill Amber and put it to her account. Um, so let's go and make another job today. We are go out customers. And the second one here, we want to make another job for another mowing job. So jobs, let's see if the computer will load. Oh, come on. So we're going to make this job mowing as well. And set recurring to Mondays and billable, yes. It will show you down here the future days that um, you're going to be servicing this property for mowing. Um, so we'll go back up here to jobs and we can see every job that is created for today. Um, it looks like, so here's Amber. Um, I'm not sure why this is not coming up with their name. There's a job here. Let's click on that. 
Um, I don't know, it's a pretty generated thing, must be. Uh, but literally, you can go look in and see all your jobs for the day. On the when you have yard book, there is a button over here to do a um, route. So, this is a great routing feature that um, yard book has, and you can it will generate a route for the day. Um, so you're not just driving around from property to property. It actually is very useful um, doing the routing feature uh, for the single day. So you're not wasting your time, drive time um, when you're out on the road. Uh, so you can also create estimates here. And it looks like it has pre-generated a bunch of estimates. Um, and another thing about the estimates, when you send out an estimate, it will have a um, green envelope right there too and it will tell you if they have opened up that estimate or not I'm not sure why there's no green envelope on here uh, but trust me when they open up the estimate you'll be able to tell so um, you know that it it's a very nice feature so you know that it has been um, seen by the recipient by the recipient um, we're going to go to our invoices here and it'll just show you every single invoice that is open. Um, you can show new invoices. So it'll show all your new invoices that are open. You can, if you want to look at pending invoices, see who is pending and possibly is late on payment, you can do that. Um, yeah, there's just a whole bunch of the features in Yardbook. And it's a great program. It's a great free program. And this is... I've looked into multiple different programs, and this is by far um, the best that I have found out there. Um, if for some reason you are doing chemicals, which I am not, you can add chemicals and stuff right here to tell you how much uh, chemicals you need, how much products, and all that good stuff. Um, equipment, you can add all your equipment here. Um, and if you have a big shop, you can say this piece of equipment is available. I do not use this feature because I am a solo operator. Um, so if you are a bigger uh, operation this uh, yardbooks is a great tool as well um, if we go to site maps there's a whole bunch of different things you can do in this setting um, you can view all your customers view all your, all your customers properties add a job add task you can quick dispatch if you have a bigger company you can dispatch um, a employee and I believe they can use the yardbooks on their phone and it will they can be dispatched to a certain job um, you can see the today's job view all routes so let's click on view all routes here and it'll literally t show you um, the route so it has all these jobs here I'm not sure what's going on because it doesn't really look like mine so okay here we go we're in the route so we want to we're gonna add three of these mowing jobs that are on for today um, so we are going to draw our route and let's see if this works so we want to we're going to add all first um, and it looks like it's missing address so it's not going to probably draw a route uh, so let's see um, yeah it's not going to draw a route because it's missing these addresses so if you had all your customers imported in here um, you click draw route it will optimize the best route that's available if you have more than 25 you can down here click optimize route XL beta um, this is great especially for plowing um, yardbook is not just a great tool for lawn care it's a great tool for plowing because I have about 35 um, accounts that I'm servicing right now this I believe lets you optimize your route for up to I believe 120 uh, accounts so it's very very helpful um, when optimizing your route uh, let's say you have these addresses in here um, but let's say you want to add Amber she want you want to be here on the first first of the you want to get her job done the first so you move her up here and then from there it will uh, rearrange the route um, depending on who you want to start with if you want to end with somebody you can let's say this one you want to end down here it'll just rearrange the route um, and add it on the map here very very um, good program to use for routing so let's go back here and see what else uh, let's go back to our site map um, so estimates you can view all your estimates the site map is just you can view everything in here 
of URL invoices, auto-generate. So if you want to know how much money you have made for a certain month or at the end of the year for tax purposes, you can go to reports and go to the profit loss estimates. Um, I don't do losses for my vehicles and expenses, but I do uh, put all my income in here. So it looks like they made this much money for this month. Um, so you got a total for this month and it will add it up at the end of the month. It looks like there's some negative somewhere in here um, that they have lost money on rental. It looks like they're renting this property. So this is the gist of yard books. Um, it is very simple, very easy to do. And to be honest, I have found this to be one of the easiest and user friendly um, apps out there for lawn care. If you have any questions about Yardbook in the comments below, just let me know. Uh, I will respond to any questions that you have. And like I said, there is a Facebook group for Yardbook users. Um, and if you have any questions in there, um, feel free to uh, ask any questions. I am in that group personally, and there's a couple people that know a lot more about Yardbook in that group than I do. So this is Michael Douglas from Douglas Lawn Care. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys on the software that I use for my lawn care and plowing business. Um, it is free to join. So I would highly, if you're looking into this, just go in here, just mess around with it. Um, it is free guys. Just mess around with it. If you don't like it, go ahead and find something else to use. Um, it definitely doesn't hurt to um, just mess around with, with it for a couple days to see if it's for you or not. So Michael Douglas, Douglas Lawn Care signing off. Uh, hope this helped you guys and have a great one. Bye.